Robin. I think of you as an international supermodel. I know you're from Vogue covers. You've been shot by the most incredible photographers, the likes of Steven Meisel. But you're also an activist, and I know that you're really passionate about sustainability. I've also been following your Instagram, and I know you share all these great stuff about vegan recipes. How do you see your role and your work and your platform? Thank you, that's very sweet of you. I think if you've got the platform, share the information. You know, I think that's very important to me. And I grew up just with my mum tree planting every Sunday, for example. Tree hugger. <laughs> yeah, <Same>. tree hugger. <laughs> and that just changed my world. And we composted. And I realized, you know, when I dug deeper into that world, um, how easy it was to turn vegan. Uh, veganism saved my life and my health. I owe it a lot. And I think it's just ways that people, you know, with the cooking, I show people how to do easy vegan cooking. So I think you hear the word vegan and everyone's like, I don't know what I'm doing. It's so hard and complicated, but it's very easy to mm. make very nutritious recipes at home for your family. And I think it's a way to help save our planet. I love that. Our consumer choices matter. What are you looking for in a beauty and skincare brand? I'm definitely looking what they put into their ingredients. I think people bypass the ingredients section but your skin is your body. And you know, I think what you put on your skin is very, very important. And packaging, I think, is really underlooked. So quality of packaging as well. And what made you want to work with Anika? Well, Anika, I was kind of blown away by the quality of ingredients. And I've used a lot of products in my life, <laughs> um, especially organic face products. Um, and I was, yeah, blown away. The first ingredients, you know, being aloe and botanicals and serums and, they know what they're doing and they feel so good on. And I can tell you straight away if I've got chemicals on my face and I've had a lot of makeup and a lot of skincare and facials done and it doesn't feel like that. It feels incredible on my skin. These products look gorgeous and feel gorgeous, but I think that there's a perception out there among some people that if something is natural, if something's organic, maybe you're compromising, maybe the performance isn't there. What would you say to that? Yeah, unfortunately, if people have this perception that organic doesn't work or if the you know, ingredients don't, doesn't work, but I think that perception is completely outdated. Organic 100% works, and I think the ingredients are the most important thing, and what you put on your skin matters a lot. And I'm 100% in for the most amazing products, and I want the most amazing products on my skin. I don't want chemicals on my skin, and I think once you've delved into the organic products and put, start putting them on your skin and start eating them, you start seeing the changes and quite quickly as well. So yeah, I don't know why that exists. <laughs> you get the results. Yeah. Oh yeah, you get the results. All right, I've got to ask you, what is your favorite product? By far my favorite at the moment is Bacuchiol Serum. It's incredible. And it's, I didn't know this, but it's a natural um, retinol. It's like the vegan alternative to the normal retinol and you can go into the sun with it. It's so nourishing.